My name is Hannah Ray. It's H-A-N-N-A-H-R-A-Y. I'm a registered nurse in the critical care unit. Okay. So it's my understanding that not only are you part of this committee that, that's helping staff, but you've also um, were able to enjoy some of the perks that come along with this. Is that right? Yes. Okay. So, um, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I was just going to say, talk, talk about um, the why. Like, why are you guys doing this for staff? It's this season of, of life that we're in. This I might have to take this off. I'm sorry. That's okay. I'm just going to pick and pull on it and think about it the whole time. Yeah, um, when it drops down, it's just... Yes, yes, yes. I'm really bad about pulling it. So anyway, this season of life that we're in and in, being in the midst of COVID has become almost depressing at times and it's it makes it very hard on the staff to even have motivation or have encouragement so we have leaned on each other a lot um, and it's been we've kind of created this committee in hopes to help take care of one another and help the community take care of us and us help take care of the community um, it the committee was created um, by people from all over the hospital, anywhere from our CEO to registered nurses to anybody in between. And the goal of it is to find ways to help, to support each other um, and to help the hospital support us more than normal. Sure, and what, what have you seen as a nurse, maybe among your other your colleagues, what have you seen has been the biggest challenge since the pandemic started? Um, one big thing is this sounds so small, but meals, um, having the time to take a break at work and eat a meal is hard. And having to go home and shower after you just walk in the door or you have to shower at work and then go home and then prepare a meal for your family is hard. And it's time consuming and it's something that we're not, we don't, we, take advantage of sometimes um, and we almost feel guilty going home and being that tired and then having to eat or cook a meal or find food for the family. So I totally understand mm -hmm. that and then compound that with what you guys do all day I couldn't mm -hmm. imagine and so we've got the free meals at lunch the free mm -hmm. meal the take-home meals mm -hmm. they're not free but they are very mm -hmm. low cost yes and they feed a family of four to six perfect mm -hmm. they're about ten dollars mm -hmm. is that right um, what has, let's talk about just the meals. What has okay. been the feedback that you've received from staff who have taken part of that program? It's very beneficial. It's easy. It's so simple for us as employees to just walk through the cafeteria, pick that up and take it home and put it in the oven. And that gives us time to spend with our family or to debrief or to take a few minutes that we need it and just sit down and process what has gone on that day. So it's a lot more than just, I'm bringing dinner home. It's, this is time away from my family that now I'm getting back, that now I don't have to go home and worry or prepare or stop for dinner on the way home. It's something that has made it very beneficial for not only the employees of Conway Regional, but for our families as well. Tell me what it feels like as a nurse at the end of the day to finally sit down. <laughs> it, <laughs> Sitting down is the best. <laughs> um, I don't know how to say it. You know, it's hard. Our patients come first, and that's what matters. And for me, for me personally, I don't care how tired I am during the day because I'm here to take care of patients. So I always am bad and good about putting my patients before myself. So at the end of the day, sitting down is just something that you want and you need more than you could ever imagine. And so this relaxation room that the hospital has set up for us has become five or 10 minutes of sit down time and debriefing time and true relaxation to where we can sit down take a moment and just not think about everything else that's going on around us. And I would imagine in your job that there is a lot of um noise, inter even mm -hmm. like mental noise. Mm -hmm. Do you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Yes. When your brain just cannot stop. Yep. And that takes its toll. And yes. so I would, I would assume that this is kind of a nice break from that yes. noise. Yes. Yes. And it's an environment and it's a room that they have created 
just to calm down the noise and it's quiet in here and it's peaceful and we don't have to listen to everything going on around us and IV pumps going off and ventilators making noises and it's just peaceful and that's what we need so even five or ten minutes a day that's just what we need yeah and can you um, even if you haven't utilized that service the child care can you just talk about um, why that's so important mm -hmm. to to have that available well a lot of our employees are working overtime and that takes time away from your family and away from your kids or away from your spouse and w part of the committee's job that we're working on right now is finding ways to help parents that work here so we've talked and discussed and the you know that administration team has come up with um, the child care services through the fitness center and we're even adding on to that for Christmas and we're doing all kinds of fun things but it just gives the parents a break from work and from talking about work and from preparing meals and everything else that's going on for just the parents to have a break for a little bit or for the kids to have a break from all the chaos that's going on because of how COVID has affected everything so that has been very beneficial for a lot of Conway Regional families. Sure. Can you talk about, um, you know, we were here on Wednesday and we spoke to some, some nurses who, you know, they got pretty, they got pretty emotional because mm -hmm. they're humans and, you know, we, no one really ever stops to ask a nurse, hey, how are you? Yeah. How are you? And when you stop to ask somebody that sometimes, that's when the tears come. Mm -hmm. So can you, can you talk about just the toll that the pandemic has taken on Line. Um, I can. I may cry. Okay. <laughs> um, it's exhausting and draining and a lot of us are working overtime and a lot of us have seen things that we never could have imagined we would have seen and been a part of things that we don't want to be a part of. Just situations that aren't good and don't have good outcomes. and. Um, you know, part of the draining of it all is that we have to be these liaisons between patients and families, which is something that we're used to, but not to this level, not to where our patients have no family interaction right now because of COVID um, and they don't have someone to touch them and hold their hand and encourage them and sing them a song. And so we have become all of those things. The nurses and the techs and everybody in between has has become the patient's family and the patient's advocate and their counselor and their liaison and their supporter and their pastor and so it's not just taking a physical toll on us it's taking an emotional toll and a, everything i mean it's it's draining but also rewarding and comforting at the same time sure i mean you guys you know, you love what you do, of mm -hmm. course, or else you wouldn't be doing it. Um, but I, I imagine it's it's hard. This is mm -hmm. really hard. And some of the nurses we spoke to said part of the hardest job for them is seeing those isolated patients. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about, as a nurse, that perspective, how different that is from before where you could hop in, do the thing, hop mm -hmm. out, do the thing. Mm -hmm. And now you're kind of limited mm -hmm. on the interaction. So, so why is that so hard as a nurse to, to see them by themselves it's no one would ever want to be alone and or most people and no one would ever want to be alone in a hospital room that you may be in for weeks or days or hours and be scared and be frightened and be around an environment that is not your zone or your comfort zone or your home and so it makes it different for us to have to put on PPE that makes us look like a completely different human or that you can't even see my name badge. So I have to tell you, you know, every time I come in the room who I am because you don't even recognize me because I have all my PPE. <laughs> um, so it's different for us, it's different for the patients and it makes it difficult um, because it takes a lot of time. It takes time to put on PPE and go in the room and try to cluster our care to where we're not in and out and in and out and in and out. Um, and then to take everything off and you're sweating and you're tired and then to go in in just a few more minutes and do the same thing all over again. Um, but we want to be that comfort 
that our patients need. And we want to be that peace and that calmness that is in the midst of chaos. That's, that's why I became a nurse is because there is peace in the midst of chaos sometimes. And I want to be that for my patient. In the chaotic times that COVID's going on, someone has to be there to say, I'm here with you and we're going to be okay. And that's why we do what we do. And that's why we drain ourselves to every thing that we don't have and give every ounce of energy that we do have because we want our patients to know that they're okay and we're here with them. Right. Uh, and to summarize, just, just talk about the overall um, way that the hospital has responded to the pandemic in terms of taking care of its staff. Just a general statement on how you feel about it. I would say that the hospital knows that everyone is struggling. Um, not just their employees, but the community in general. And I would say that Conroe Regional is not here to just support their staff, but to support this entire community as a whole. Whether you are a pharmacist here at the hospital, or you work for Axiom, or you are whatever field you work in, this hospital is not just here for the employees, we're here for the community. And we're here to support them, and take care of them, and tell them that we're all in this together. Good. My last question for you, unless you have something specific that you want to add, um, what do you want people to know about nursing during a pandemic? We're not giving up. <laughs>